face. Just trying to fix the angle of the camera here. I'm sitting on my bed recording this video. This is another attempt of my one year anniversary video. I accidentally deleted the other one because my head was all over the place with my ma calling me every few minutes to leave and go. So I was like, I ended up deleting it by accident. Which was annoying, but I'm going to record it again. So this is the one year anniversary of my Life Goals page video. I've started up the Life Goals page on the 12th of July of 2020. Um, as of recording this, it is the 16th, but I did actually record it on the day. I just, as I said, deleted the video. Um, again, not a big fan of this angle, but anyway. The, lost my words for a split second. Yeah, it's the one year anniversary of the page. I wanted to kind of go through where the page is at, where it was, the difference in the page between then and now, me then and now, and just a couple of bits in between. So... One, I'm super happy that I made it uh, to a year of this page. Um, I'm actually really, really happy with that. I'm really excited about a couple of things that I have planned for the page. Uh, I know I keep saying I have stuff planned for it, but and don't actually change much about it. But I do have stuff planned. It's just a matter of trying to get formats and templates and all of that set up so that I, the whole page doesn't look the same all the time, basically. Um, I do have a few apps on my phone that is being used for that to set up all that. I'm going to start doing that over the weekend. Um, so where my page was. Originally, I set up the page as a weight loss page only. So it was following my journey from being 20 something stone or 20 stone something to losing the weight and getting to my end of year goal, which originally for last year would have been about 18 stone, 19 stone to this year, which I'm still aiming for by Christmas to be 17 stone something again and um, because that's the weight I was when I first met Graham uh, nine years ago now so it was so I want to get back to that by Christmas I'm not too far off I'm 19 stone something um, at the moment I have lost a stone within a year not a great progress I would have liked to have lost at least two stone within the year but I'm happy that I still lost the stone and um, now I that was since the last time I weighed myself. I haven't weighed myself in about three weeks now. So I could be back up. I don't know. But I am going to go back to start weighing myself very, very soon. So yeah, I just want to get through a few things that are in my way at the moment, mentally wise. Um, I'll get onto my mental health in a few minutes. But food and all wise, my diet has changed a good bit, but it's also... um been bad as well so what i mean by that is also can i just point out the elephant the room yes i have a bikini on underneath this because we're having a pool day in the book today and i know i'm gonna get soaked so thought i'd wear that but anyway um food and all wise where have i how have i've gone where right basically i know in myself now the feeling of you know success basically i know the feeling of sticking to the diet of losing the weight of how good it feels and how energetic you feel and all i've gone to the point where can you grab a bottle of coke there yeah i got this yesterday in work the uh, chap that i'm in the pod with got it because the kids are getting ice pops so i know the feeling of having two liters of water in me every day only felt great i was proud of myself but also felt kind of shitty because I was like I'd come off the, the normal coke and I wasn't I knew I wasn't allowed to drink it and I'm just like that's not me I know I'm not really meant to be drinking fizzy drink but as I've worded to people as long as I get my water in me after that whatever I don't mind I'm getting either two 750ml bottles into me two 500ml bottles into me or one of both uh, into me. So I'm getting at least two bottles of water into me every day of the week now. Uh, so that's between 1.25 litres to 1.5 litres. Not amazing, but still better than what I was doing a couple of weeks ago. When I first started on it, I was like struggling to get the water into me. I was trying to use dilute to get it into me and all, but I still drink the Coke. I still get it. I just don't drink it as often as I used to. 
I don't beg and plead and send Graham down to shop at like 8.40, 20 minutes before the shop closes to get it. I don't get pissed off if he buys himself a bottle and not me. I'm not like that anymore. If I don't have it there, I have my water. I'm grand. I'm fine. If it's there, I might have a bit of it. If not, whatever. I got a bottle on the weekend, one day 1.25 litres, and there was about this much left in the bottom of it. So, basically a whole 500ml bottle nearly, like can, whatever, in the bottom of the bottle that had gone dead and warm because I hadn't drank it in so, in so long. Um, so I'm not even finishing the big bottles. I finished that one, but I didn't even finish it in work. It took me all day. Like I got that, uh, I think it was half four, and I didn't finish it until I went to bed last night. So in between all that, I was drinking my water. So like I spread it out now. I'm not obsessed with drinking it anymore. So I'm pretty happy where I've gotten with the busy drink. Junk food, again, I can go without it. But my cravings recently because of the heat and all. Um, and I've been really stressed lately. My cravings have been really bad for it. So they have. So junk food wise, I have been eating a lot more chocolate than I was. But again, I know the feeling of going a day without chocolate. Two days, three days, four days. But, you know, going until the Saturday without the chocolate. And then treating myself on the weekend. And then going again without the chocolate. Not binging on the weekend. But, going, but having a little bit. And then going again. I know that feeling and I like that feeling. Right now, I'm not concentrating on it because I've got a lot going on. Um, so I do. But again, doing this page, making sure I upload stories and I talk about my day. And like there's been times I haven't because it got to the point where I stopped writing up what I was eating every day. Because I didn't want anyone to know that I was bad, that I'd had takeaways, junk food, busy drink frappuccinos which aren't very healthy because they're full of cream um just different things like that like i didn't want people knowing i was really 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 bad so i stopped writing up but since starting the page to now i've learned how it feels to do really really good and i like that and i know i can do it i know in myself i can do it because i've done it before for weeks on end i've done it like i've done it for three four weeks straight and then i'll have like a bad week um but I've learned that feeling now. I know how that feels. I, I want to get that back. But now I'm going to jump on and talk about my mental health and why it's and now as in where the page has got me. So originally, as I said, the page was only set up as weight loss. Now, as of now, it's weight loss. It's mental health. It's my goals in life. It's what makes me feel good. Everything. I want to do a complete revamp of the page. I've said it in IGTVs before that I want to revamp the page. Um, because I like the original structure, which was like what I eat and all like that and the exercise and all. But I want to add stuff in that's more me and my life and my mental health. So recently, I slowly started doing it. So I've gone back to uploading what I've had in a day. Again, I'm... I'm lying on them every now and then because if I've had like a really bad day, I'm not saying that I've had junk food. I'm going to try to be more honest on them from now on. But like I'm starting to upload what I've had each day, my steps each day, the amount of water I had, what I've done that day. So that's kind of like one post that I'm doing every single day of the week now. I do need to get a couple of different template pictures for them so that it's not all the one picture going up and then... You know, it just looks like one big picture kind of thing. Um, so I do need to get a couple of different ones so I can switch it around. I do need to take new photos for that though. So I'm going to do that on Sunday. I'm going to do like a big photo shoot kind of thing. Where I get new photos and I can do all the templates. So that I have a couple of different ones to choose from each day. Um, I do have a mental health post going up. So I'm writing up now about my head and how my head's been. So for example... The past couple of weeks, my stress levels have been super high because because I'm burping. No, sorry, the camera keeps shimmying. Because I have a child development exam coming up on the 7th of August. I have been doing first aid for the past three Saturdays in a row. Tomorrow, which is the 17th of July, is my last one. And I have an exam and a practical to do. 
which we haven't gotten the notes in around for so ace brilliant um so i have two exams basically and a practical to do i we have been really short staffed in work so if anyone rings in sick it's very stressful and hard to take time off um i've been trying to get the medical card sorted because you can't do it online so you have to go and you have to print off the form you have to fill it all out you have to bring to the doctor surgery i have to get pay slips letter from work something to do for the credit union i have to get all them printed off and sent off so hopefully i'll have that all done by monday um so that's been stressing me out a bit then we're doing up the back garden at the moment as well i'm trying to get ahead of myself uh with videos for youtube i've been trying to do the instagram page i've been trying to work on healthy eating drinking water not snacking no takeaways um, keeping the on top of the room, making sure we stay on top of like shows that we're watching, movies that we want to watch, while also having fun with my friends and Graham, um, and not stress myself out. Also trying to read a book that I want to read that I bought, um, or reread I should say. Um, I want to get through that. You know, I still want to keep care of my skin and my fix my hair. Like my hair color is in desperate need of fixing. Just loads of little bits like I. That I have on the go and yeah I'm probably putting a lot of pressure on myself having like loads of stuff on the go but some of it's going to start dying down so tomorrow is the my last day of first aid so that's one thing that we marked off the list Monday I should have the medical card sent stuff and all sent off so that's two things marked off the list I will hopefully come Sunday night have all the templates for Instagram sorted so that'll be three things marked off the list our back garden is being done in about i think it's been done in august and um, the back garden is we have actually family members coming over to do it didn't realize they did back gardens so we didn't uh, but we actually have my dad's cousins coming over so that can be a relaxation sanctuary for me eventually because it's going to be amazing looking and um, so that'll be done in a couple of weeks time um so there's a, like a few of the bits are going to be done soon from next week, I'm going head diving into my child development studying because I it's a really big exam. It's a two hour exam on the 7th of August. Um, so I really need to get my head on, screwed on and get stuck into that. So I yeah. am. I'm trying to hang out with people and all as often as I can and talk to them and not sound moody or and very hard lately because I'm just tired. I'm worn out and all um so it's just hard so my mental health since last year has actually deteriorated a good bit um at first during the lockdown which was march 2020 over here i was fine for a couple of months because we had the heat wave i was sitting out my back garden relaxing doing homework i was out the front garden doing up the front garden that we've we did up last year I was doing workouts, I was drinking my, this was before I set up the Life Goals page, bear in mind. I was drinking my water, I was doing proper full-on home-cooked meals um, from scratch. Um, I was video calling my mates once a week. You know, I was able to watch all my shows, all my movies, play all the games I wanted. I was able to record videos whenever I wanted because I had all the free time. So I was grand in the first part of the lockdown. Then you jump forward to July, 9th of July, 2020, and I have to go back to work. This is when the anxiety hit me and my mental health deteriorated. I was having anxiety attacks nearly every day. I was panicking. It was so, I don't know, I was really uncomfortable with how everything was being done because, you know, we weren't sure did we have to wear masks. You have to make sure you're sanitized. You have to make sure you wipe down everything. You have to do this. this. And there was all these new rules and procedures coming in and I'm like trying to memorize them and I'm, it's crazy we are still in the midst of trying to figure out what we're doing how we're doing it and all this and with less staff it's very 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 hard so it is um because we had like when we first came back we had like six staff members and we're now down to four so yeah um oh yes please um so yeah sorry we're planning our September trip with Susan and Graham's looking up a couple of museums that we can go to. So yes. Um 
But yeah, like my mental health deteriorated really quickly from there. And then I was constantly panicking over my finishing my level six in childcare because I only have X amount of time in the place I am now. But thankfully because of because of COVID, I kept getting extensions. So I now am able to finish my level six. Fingers crossed. Like, not that I want... Like, I want to go out and get a job, but I also don't know what I'm doing anymore. Basically, that's one other thing that's changed since last year. Last year, I had it all worked out. I was going to a specific place and applying for a job that I could nearly walk into, yada, yada. But I had it all worked out that I was working in a crash basically, when I finish up. But I've sat down recently and talked to people, and I've come to the terms... I look like a mohawk, or not mohawk, a mullet. Um, I've come to the terms that I don't want to work with babies. I love babies, don't get me wrong. And I want to have my, my own little family and all. But I couldn't work with the amount of babies that you'd be put with every single day of the week. For the amount of time you'd be put with them every single day of the week. I wouldn't. I mentally would not be able for that. Um, I am more so the after school age because I'm not that I'm mentally like them kids. Don't get me wrong, I'm not. I'm not saying, like, I'm mentally a five-year-old or anything. But my interests are quite similar. Like, I play the video games. I watch the movies. You know, I watch the shows. I am able to talk to these kids about everything. So, yeah. I'm able to discuss all the things they have an interest in. Like, one chap we used to have there used to love the FIFA game. Not a big football person. So, I'm not. But I was like... We classed me as his money person. I'm his money. I'm his money manager, whatever you want to call it, finance person. And we used to have a great kick out of that. I spent about 10, 15 minutes in the hall one day talking Disney to a couple of the kids because I had like the inside info, uh, because I go online and I'm able to search up the proper things. So I, I was giving him like all the lowdown kind of thing. I'm able to talk like Fortnite with the kids because Fortnite's a big thing with them, and I'm able to talk Fortnite with them. So like. That age group for me is something that I'm able to work with really, really well. And I'm able to communicate with them really well. And they kind of, it's easier to, not control them, but teach them and all. Like we have a thing in pod two, as we call it, pod one, pod two. So the younger pod, where if we need them all to line up and none of them are lining up, we say, right, line up. You got five seconds and we start going five, four, three. And they all come running and they're like, not that anything's going to happen if we get to one. It's not like you're going to be like, right, you're out. You're suspended. You're gone. Bye. It's not like that. It's like literally they, but they don't know that. We count down. They come. They line up. Perfect. You know, they know when they're being bold. You can tell them when they're being bold. Like, I just get along brilliantly with that age group. So now I have to go rethink my whole career option and see what am I going to do. That's a major thing that's changed since I started up this page. That's like the biggest thing that's changed. My whole outlook on life has changed since starting up this page. Honest to God. Um, I know I'm kind of rambling a little bit, but I am going to bring it back to the page a bit now. This is all to do with my mental health. So, because of all that, because of everything that's going on, that's why I came up with the aspect of a mental health post. Where I write in if I've had ups, if I've had downs. We have, like... I could turn around today and say, okay, today's been a, it's been an okay day. Started off kind of iffy because my head is really sore. I feel really drained. In fairness, I haven't taken my vitamin tablet yet, but I feel really drained. The heat is getting to me. But then, and then I could also say, oh, but today was like, but it was also good because, you know, we had like a water balloon fight. We had water guns. There was pools. It was really fun different things like that like i'll say where what went wrong and what went right basically with the day so i will i'll say it in the post so i have i've got a list of posts i want to do so i do i just need to organize myself get to the point where i can upload all the stuff but for the moment the page is going to be quite similar but a little bit different to when it first started when it first started it was just one post with maybe a couple of quotes here and there of what I ate that day, my walk, my steps, that kind of thing. Whereas at the moment, there's going to be 
what I did every single day. There's going to be every couple of days there'll be a mental health update as to how I felt, how I feel my head's going. So there is. But that's only for the next couple of days. Come next week, which I'm hoping to be at, so come the 19th of July, I'm hoping I'll be doing like outfit of the days, quotes, um, crafts, maybe just then the generic daily post, mental health post, a couple of other bits that I want to kind of upload, just things that kind of maybe inspire me or like I have, if I can, sorry, if I can. I have this little inspiration board. I might do like a little update on that. There is more to go on to it, but I might do like a little post on that soon. Um, ooh, lighting went weird there. But um, I do have a few ideas for the pages, for the page. But I need to get the templates done for it first. So that's what Sunday is going to be. Sunday for me is going to be a fun day. So quick roundup of the past year. Mental health has deteriorated. Um, a little bit but I am working really really hard and fighting and pushing through it with the help of my friends and family so I am um, weight wise I've been able to maintain the weight that I've been at for a while so I'm pretty happy with that I did lose a stone in a year so I'm really happy that I, I'm not 20 stone anymore uh, that's the main thing I wanted to get done straight away and um, so I'm happy with that I'm happy that I have the knowledge and I know the feeling of success and doing good and all. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm happy with the fact that my page is growing in followers. Um, so it is. So hopefully some of you here on YouTube are over following it. Um, I'm happy I didn't give up on the page. Because honestly, when I start stuff like this, I tend to give up after a while. Um, I, have a, I had or have a blog. Like just a basic blog that I type up on. And I gave up on that because I just couldn't do it. So I want to make sure I don't give up on this page. This is the one thing that I really don't want to give up on. I'm really happy with how far I've come on this. Um, I'm starting to push myself more. I'm starting to understand I can do more. And it's all down to the page because, like, honestly, I am taking responsibility for what goes up on it. And I want to be as honest with people as possible. So from whenever onwards I'm going to start being more honest and start being more open with what I've eaten, how I felt, stuff like that. So I am, I am going to start being a lot more honest from now on, on it and not lie, basically. I need to not hide anything. um. So I do and be open and honest on it and I want to get back to that because that's how I started it off. So I do want to get back to basics on the page um, but I also want to expand on the basics as well um is the best way to word that but i feel like i've had a lot of ups and downs over the past year and taking the breaks every now and then from it not stressing if i don't upload one day is starting to really help and make the page that bit be i feel that bit better because it gives me time to think and if i'm like right well i want to upload this i'm gonna upload it simple matter of fact I'm going to go upload it whether I don't mind what anyone thinks kind of thing. Um, so I am really happy with how far I've come. Not that my confidence is built. Not that my anxiety is better. Not that I've lost a ton of weight or I'm eating super healthy. Just I've learned more about myself. And I've learned how to achieve what I want to achieve basically. I've started kind of getting to that point And I'm starting to think forward and starting to think the future and everything. So I am. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm putting a lot more effort into like YouTube and Twitch and myself and everything. So I'm pretty happy. I'm starting to kind of work a lot more on stuff that makes me happy and everything. So I am. So I'm really happy that I've lasted this long on the page. And hopefully I'll get another year out of it. Um, and hopefully come ne this time next year it would have expanded a lot more. And I'm going to be a lot more open and a lot more confident. And my maybe my mental health won't be as bad. And I would have lost a good bit more weight hopefully i'll be at the 17 stone mark um in a year fingers crossed you never know but for now i'm just happy that i'm still uploading on the page and that i still get followers and people are still reading my posts and appreciating them and just i like that i have somewhere where i can 
be myself and talk and all and express myself without worrying what everyone else is going to say or do because that's what the page is basically i like that and i'm happy i've made it to a year so yay one year into the page and here's to another couple of years or another year or whatever see where we are come next year fingers crossed i'm at the 17 stone mark at least come next year and my anxiety and all is a lot better um so sorry for all the rambling but it's been a year and i'm very very happy and i will see you in the next video real soon Bye, guys.